Hi everyone and welcome to Chem Talk. Today we'll be talking about the importance of organic chemistry and why it matters. This is the first video in Chem Talk's organic chemistry YouTube lecture series that works with the organic chemistry curriculum. Before you dive deep into the content about molecules and reactions and mechanisms, it is important to establish a broader picture. And I hope through this video you feel like you have a reason for studying such a hard, complex material beyond just a grade for a class. So first, what is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is a branch of science that normally deals with the compounds of carbon. There are about 15 million known organic compounds, but the number of possible organic compounds is basically essentially infinite. But all organic compounds have one thing in common, and that is that they all contain or are primarily made of carbon. This is because of carbon's ability to combine with other carbons to form really long chains, and almost all other atoms can't do that. Also, carbons can bond with four other atoms, making it super versatile and useful for forming large, complex molecules. Organic chemistry is a study of the structure, properties, composition, reactions, and preparation of these carbon-containing compounds. Most organic compounds contain carbon and hydrogen, but they may also include any number of other elements, such as nitrogen, oxygen, halogens, phosphorus, silicon, and sulfur. Organic chemistry is a highly creative science that allows chemists to create and explore molecules and compounds. Organic chemists spend much of their time developing new compounds and finding better ways of synthesizing existing ones. But how is this useful? How is organic chemistry useful? Well, we have three structures here. This first structure is of a very common household item, aspirin. Aspirin is a very commonly used organic molecule that used in most people's daily lives and was created and discovered by organic chemists in the late 1800s. This second structure is a structure of the anti-cancer drug imatinib. Prior to its discovery in 2001, a medical diagnosis of certain types of leukemia was certain death sentence. But because of a few biochemists and organic chemists discovering new organic compounds, years of clinical trials, and the approval of the FDA, in most cases imatinib can cure the type of leukemia it targets and has proven useful in the treatment of other cancers too, saving the lives of many. And this third structure is a molecular structure of printer ink, another basic item used by everyone. It is also another key organic molecule. So organic chemistry is not only useful in medicine, many useful materials come from organic chemistry, such as textiles, body armor, artificial sweeteners, sports equipment, and computers are all made of and are, or are built from materials that come from organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is everywhere. Chances are you don't know how to interpret any of these structures, but these molecules represent the importance of organic chemistry and how impactful and important it is to understand the subject and make advancements in it. By the time you have gone through the organic chemistry curriculum, you will certainly understand the structure and chemical properties of all of these molecules and many other important molecules. Should you want to participate in the discovery or exploration of organic molecules, you'll be prepared for the advanced and exciting work that can set you on the road of, from drug discovery to ink manufacturing. And if you want to pursue a career in the healthcare profession, with organic chemistry, you will be prepared to understand the chemical basis of medicine and how it impacts and changes the body. Organic chemistry is fundamental, fundamental to all life sciences. Apart from real-life practicality, organic chemistry will give you important tools and skills in problem-solving and know how to approach these problems. Through our series of videos, we will equip you with a massive toolbox of reactions and mechanisms so that you will eventually be able to build molecules and demonstrate how from a few building blocks you can create these huge complex molecules. ChemTalk has a series of videos going through the organic chemistry curriculum that will hopefully be fun and engaging and helpful through your organic chemistry journey. For more, visit www.chemistrytalk.org and visit our YouTube webpage for the whole lecture series. Thank you.